out Intel? Let's start over there. Uh, I'm the general manager for our tablet business unit, so responsible for all of Oh, sorry, responsible for all of our uh, tablet business engagements with our customers and driving Intel to be successful in tablets. Okay. So, what does Android mean to Intel now in 2014? Um, there's a lot of, you know, I saw the dual boot, uh, the, the switching tablet downstairs, and got a good demo of that. How important are tablets like that to Intel right now? Uh, Android is going to be hugely important for us on tablets. Um, we see everybody sees where how much traction it's gotten in the marketplace. We're doing all of our development both on Windows-based tablets as well as Android-based tablets. We'll give our customers the choice of whether they, they, they want to run Windows on a machine, or they want to run Android on that same machine, or they want to have a dual boot option to get a customer request. How many dual boot? Do you have any idea, any sense from customers how many dual boot devices were coming out in 2014? I know the ASUS is. Uh, both in 11 and 13, but that's all I've heard of so far. There's a few coming out, and a lot of customers are looking at it and exploring it. What we really think is an advantage is with the x86 architecture, we can support Android or Windows or both on the same machine. That gives customers choice and flexibility. Right, okay. Um, but the enticement of a dual boot and a switching, really, it's not, not dual boot, it's really a switching. It's really switching, that's a better way to describe it. Three, three, it's like three or four seconds of Yes. That, that seems to be the really new thing. Um, yeah. As far as so, um, I understand that Intel is going to be So, but you think it's more than just ASUS, obviously. You think there are some other big OEMs coming out with dual, dual switching tablets like that? Android yeah, Windows. I would expect to see some others uh, coming out uh, over the course of the year. And, and again, they're exploring. They're trying to understand the opportunities and the usage models. Uh, so really, I think most of the machines that you'll see in the market are going to be Android specific or Windows specific. But you'll certainly see a few experiments in a dual OS environment. Okay. Do you have any idea how those tablets work, by the way? How do they share memory or anything like that? I mean, we we, we do. Uh, okay. <laughs> you wanna, if you want to do a deeper technical one, I'd love to have a conversation with you. With other guys that can go through like how you, uh, how you manage the memory between the, mach the machines, how you accelerate the switching time between the two operating systems. It's pretty cool. And the switching part, is that in the silicon actually, or is that in a so is that strictly software? It's software driven, or it can be driven by a hard key, but there's, it's, you have to have the base silicon support to enable that. Okay, and that silicon support is in Haswell, of course. Is it in, is it in Bay, Bay Trail? It's actually in any Intel SOC or any Intel processor, so with the x86 architecture, we can support Windows or Android on any of those machines. Okay, and um, one question that's always been in my mind, um, since you know this Bay Trail came in, I should say, is so Haswell is also very attractive. For example, I have a Surface Pro 2 that sure. has Haswell inside. Um, so we're talent. So, are you sensing any shift? Maybe a little bit sh a shift towards Haswell, or, or a more uh, you know a, a more welcoming attitude towards Haswell than maybe before? Uh, no, I think people are really excited about Haswell. I think it's a great product. It gives you an incredible increase in battery life relative to uh, where you were on Ivory Bridge and graphic support is significantly increased with Ivory graphics. What I'd say is if you look at the tablet market next year, or sorry, this year, it's probably 280 million units. The PC market is well north of 200 million units. With a market that size, you're going to have people that are going to want to buy us towards great performance and that PC-like experience. Haswell's the perfect product for that. You're going to have a lot of people who are going to want the thinnest, lightest form factor with the long as possible battery life, and Baytrail is a perfect solution for there. So I think the market is big enough for these architectures to coexist, and we're really giving people choice about what they want. Okay. Um, Intel stated, now I was just asking, um, was it a target of 40 million this year, tablets, or was, it, was that stated explicitly? Uh, what I believe uh, Brian said in the uh, analyst report is a 4x increase in terms of tablet units uh, year on year uh, relative to where we were. So that comes to roughly 40 million? We're saying 4X, we'll let uh, the analysts do the math on that. And what I think it really says is that Intel is making a real dent in the tablet marketplace. And it's a reflection of our confidence in our architecture and the products we're bringing to market and the great partnership we have with our OEM customers. But that has something to do with Android too, right? The fact that you, Android, yeah, because that's such a huge mobile OS. Sure, it, it, it's about great Windows uh, tablets, great two-in-ones, great Android devices. We're going to have Android in 7 and 8 inch and 10 inch devices. So absolutely, we're going to address every part of the market we can. We want every operating system to run best on Intel architecture. Okay, and finally, looking forward to Broadwell, and what's the next, uh, what comes after Bay, Bay, Bay Trail is? We've, I talked about Cherry Trail, which is Cherry our Trail first right. 14 nanometer SOC. And is that coming out this year? Uh, we have, we have, we've talked about production uh, in 2014, and then we're not going to get more specific about launch. Okay, at this Broadwell time. is coming this year later in the second Broad, half, right? Broadwell is targeted for second half. Second half, okay. Yeah. Okay, great. Thank you very much for your time.